What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. We're talking The Walking Dead. What's up, Mike? Not much, Chris. What's up? What's up? Uh, this episode is episode 10 of season 10. We got a 10-10 win yes. situation or yes, lose if you see it a certain other way. Uh, it's called Stalker. And by golly, uh, that dirtbag was literally that literal dirtbag was stalking, wasn't he? He definitely was. My first uh, listen now. This is one of my favorite episodes in a while. I Whoa. enjoyed this episode. Whoa! Uh, it had a lot of it had a lot of um, throwbacks to classic horror, uh, you know, with with Beta's hand coming out of the ground, out of the grave. Oh, yeah, spooky, definitely spooky. With with those with those Halloween vibes when when we saw Beta from outside and we saw like the lights turn off and the people were. It was very like Halloween to me. I was gonna I, say, I, you know what? I wrote Friday the Thirteenth, but I, you're right. I think I meant Halloween. As in Michael Myers, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was. I mean, to me, I really, I really enjoyed that. There was a lot of good scenes with Daryl. Initially, remember when he was sneaking up on that savior with his with the knife in his hand before the Alpha deal? He's sneaking up on this on this um, whisperer, and the the camera's kind of following him. Yeah. And just as I guess the whisper another turns one around, comes out of the cave, they're like. No, no, no. The camera just turns as if it was the whisper well, now no, looking behind right. where Daryl just was. Well, that's so what was I'm saying. Cool, yeah. yeah, there was a lot yeah. of cool shots um, in this episode that I liked. And I liked the blood and, and, and us as the viewer seeing through Daryl's eyes. I thought that was cool. The, pro the, the I had the problem with the blood where I was like, dude, get it out of your freaking eyes. You know, I'm like, just, w just wipe your face. Like, let it, you know what I mean? Um, I mean, he had he didn't he kind of had his hands full. He had Alpha slashing at him. He had well, Walkers you know, coming at. Him. Here's a funny thing: I didn't realize that was Alpha. I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Like it looked like Alpha because of the outfit she wore, but I didn't I didn't know it was Alpha until she until I saw her go into the house with the shotgun into that shed or whatever. Even that after he even after he he speared her with the the stick, I didn't realize. Oh, you must have been half asleep. I was actually. I was. I watched it like in the morning before work. So I didn't realize. Yeah. Here's the other was, thing. There was, yeah. Here, here's another thing. Sorry. Uh, so, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. There's a couple things I want to talk about. But, but one I wanted to just really pop out there is okay. So they go to that garage and, you know, yeah, he got fucked up. He definitely got fucked up. Yeah. I like that. I didn't, you know, he got the stabbing. Like it was, it was, a, it was. It was it was like harrowing to see like Daryl get fucked up like that going at it alone. Uh, it's it's the first time we've really seen Alpha fight one of our, you know. That's big why that's why I didn't think it was her. That's why I didn't think it was her. Yeah. But what's interesting was, then I was like, oh yeah, because she walked out with a bunch to like a new little herd for herself. Like she walked out with a little bit. Like that was like she want she'd go and get a few right and then do her thing like walk around the woods or whatever she does. Um, what I was saying was, she's banging on the side of the door frame to get them to come, mm -hmm. and those three that came in, dude, they were fucking confident walkers, were they not? Yeah, they, was, no, they were. They were not the shambling like. Uh, those were some confident ass motherfuckers. Well, one has had roots and stuff growing. Yeah, out. the but, other one had like fucking mushrooms. But they were all just like, dude, them. those were all pimps, bro. Yeah, like they walked yeah. in, I'm like, that's a little to me. That was like, that's a little out of character for the walkers that we've been seeing. Like they were strong, I mean, they moved quickly, they moved with purpose. The other walkers just like most of them just shamble and they go after mm -hmm. you. But I was like, yo, those are some yeah. confident yeah. ass walkers. I thought that was pretty funny. No, no, you know the one, the one thing, honestly, bringing that up about these walkers and and not, you know, we we spoke about this. We don't want to really. Try to we, we're trying to stay away from the negative part of it, right. but this is one thing that's that that I'm still trying to come to grips with is the fact that these whispers can herd all these walkers. Look at what our characters had to do in the beginning: mm -hmm. blood soaked, blood all on their faces, blood soaked jackets, blood. You know what I mean? Just just for them to be able to walk with with a with a, a walker, and and it's like that one walker comes in and like looks right in Alpha's face. Yeah. Now she's got to smell god awful, yep. but but these masks are cured. It's not like they're Rotting still and, blood yeah. and ridden, and so that's probably my biggest gripe out of the whole um, Walker part. It's, it's only until the guy goes ah, 
and the walkers can sense who they are. Right. So that's my biggest thing. It's a but little other than that. You know, that's the one yeah. thing with the whispers that, dude, we got thousands of walkers and you have a handful of herder herders. Yeah. You know, shepherding them. Shep, yeah. You know, and uh, and it's like, I don't know. That's it's that's a like little, my. It's a little much, right? It's a little. But still, I don't want to gripe. But that was that's like my only little thing. I but mean, I thought look. it was a cool scene when he like kind of looks right in her face. You know, Alpha, I like and how you. confident she is, right? Yeah, well, she that, well, that but she's used to living with them. On them. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's used to living with them. So she's, yeah. you know, um, I like the little bit that they had. I mean, she got messed up. You know, he's mm-hmm. he's bleeding out. She's bleeding out. You know, yeah. and then Lydia shows up, pops up. Yeah. You know, I, I mean, I didn't think she was gonna kill her. Actually, I thought I thought it would be kind of cool if Lydia offed Alpha. I, th- I'm like, wow, they almost killing. Uh, yeah. Daryl, what if they offed Alpha here? Like, I thought that would be kind of cool, but, you know, it's... I mean, it would have been way too soon, obviously. Yeah. It, maybe in a different sense, if there was another, later later on down the road, if there was another way Lydia... Sa- she she may still. I mean, we don't really know who's Alpha, who's going to take Alpha out or whatever the, the case is, but um, it was funny because after the whole fact, after Lydia comes and 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 you know rescues Daryl from the and 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 can't kill her mother. You know Daryl's like, did you kill her? And she's like, would you kill your dad or whatever? You know what I mean? And Daryl's like, so yes, yeah. yes, I would. <laughs> so it's uh, and I was like, why know. didn't she say mom? Like I was like, that's like a that's like a young kid thing to say, you know? Yeah. Like yeah. Well, why would you go to like his dad? Like what about if it was his mom? Like I think it would have made more sense if she's like, what if it was your mom? You know what I mean? Instead yeah. Of your dad. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I mean that, that was, that was some, you know, that whole sequence, like all that, that whole section, you know, those sections of the show, look at mm-hmm. them at, you know, looking at them as a, at a whole is, you know, it, it was interesting, you know, they were one-on-one and it was, they were both, mm-hmm. they were both messed up the walkers and, you yeah. know, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty interesting. It's a testament to Daryl's, you know, survivability, even her survive, you know, her survival instinct, I should say, you know, both yeah. of them just not, you know, but then she, you know who f- who found her? Oh, oh, the uh, some of them found talking? her. Yeah, that's right. What are you talking about? Uh, Alpha. Alpha. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, they yeah. Came they in, they found her. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I mean, that was that was some interesting stuff. You know, like you said, there was a couple things where it's like, you know, but yeah, it's it's, it's actually kind of kind of crazy too that Alpha was obviously uh, ready for Lydia and and kind of telling her to kill her so she could lead. You know, and Lydia was was it about that? She says, yeah, "I fat choose chance, to be right? human." Yeah, like you know, I just I want to be human, and that's something you know, that mis- you never wanted. You know, miscalculation on Alpha's part. She should have realized after obviously Lydia not being with her, she should realize Lydia would not. Lydia wants nothing to do with them. So that that kind of made me like twinge a little bit. Like, all right, you. I felt like you're just putting that in there just like to have her say something to her daughter. Had she been like, "You're weak." Like, you know, you're weak. You'll you'll never take my place. Go get me help or, you know, some shit like that. Like, and really be like, on the opposite, being like, go ahead, kill me. Go ahead, kill me and see what happens to you. I think, I think Alpha really, I mean, that shows the vulnerability Alpha was really in. Well, the thing is, is after all that stuff that yeah. happened in the past, maybe she thought, I mean, she legitimately thought she was going to die in that moment or, um, well, you right, know, Lydia. Yeah, gonna so say, it's one but... of those. Yeah, I mean, but obviously that wasn't the case, and Lydia and Lydia and, and Daryl went off. So, so all right, so let's let's run to Alexandria. Let's go over yeah. there real quick before we before yeah. we get to the the stalking part. Mm-hmm. You know, she shows up. Uh, Gamma Gamma shows up, and you know they take her. She throws the mask down, and yeah, it was a little like a little a little like all right. You know, she's like, I'm, I'm done with that, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, whatever, dude. And they put her in the cage, and I I got to hand it to Gabriel. I liked Gabriel in this. I mean, I'll get, yeah. I'll, I, I have some thoughts about his speech later, a little bit later. But he tells her, he's like, oh, I killed him. You know, it was it, Dante he killed, right? Mm, yeah. So he was like, yeah, it was like, you know, I killed him. He was, he was a little, it was a, like a different a different side of him. I think he's like just had he's, enough. I think. Yeah. I mean, cause Rosita oh, they killed calls Sadiq, him out. They killed, on, yeah. You know, they, Ros- Rosita calls him out on it. Um, Gabriel, 
you know, like uh, I forgot the exact word she used, but kind of like he was like off a little bit because he's talking about cutting their fingers off and pulling out their teeth so, and all these kind of things. So, so it's kind of so let's talk about that. I want to talk about that. Speech. Yeah. So he believes her. You know, I can tell she's she's telling the truth. First of all, you yeah. can't. That's stupid. Um, it's just you know what I mean. Look, it. I mean, I think you can with Gamma. I don't think well, we're well. The, I think the whole point is it's showing a It's showing him at his rope's end. Like he's just like I have to have conviction one way or the other. I'm going this way. I'm saying I believe her, and I'm saying I, I have this conviction because I've seen them break. I've broken them already. I've, we've already broken yeah. them. We've broken yeah. her. We've broken Dante. We broke. You know what I mean? Like he's like so so. But his little speech where he says, "We we can break them." They'll break it's and they'll give up the facade like they'll 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 give it up. It's all an act. Yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily. I don't know about you, but I don't necessarily agree with him. I think that's a grave mistake on his part. That if he were to if he were to find more in the field and and assume that he would break them, I don't think that's true at all. I think by large, they are lunatics. I think these people. Yes, there are the uh, few. Yeah, I, I'm not saying uh, that. I'm not saying that they wouldn't. They wouldn't break some, but yeah. I still think there were some that will, you know, they'll take the sword for, you know, for Alpha. Like there, there are some that are just not going to break because they're because, listen, to survive in that situation and to even put yourself in a situation where you're wearing the the skin of the dead, you're a fucking lunatic, bro. Like no matter yeah, what, but, you're but a fucking not lunatic. even you're 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 a lunatic to a degree, but a lot of you're, you're scared Alpha, i think yeah i think that's a protection yeah that's but i still is. think and a lot of them are are i, loving, I don't I, loving we, what they're our, doing. our group really like the regular whispers besides beta and alpha are really pushovers our group really just ha- look at the al the all the walkers that ran into the cave look at the guys that were outside of well the cave. i didn't say they were good fighters there's a difference between being a good fighter but but uh but, but also that's being what a gabriel zealot of something. I, think, I think that's what gabriel is also talking about I get, the weakness no, no, listen i of- listen mike i get what he's saying i just disagree with the fact that he thinks they're all like that that's his speech they, we can break them all essentially is what he was saying but anyway it was it was it was a good look into into where he's at now Ro- obviously rosita is shaken doesn't get mm. you know she's having those dreams of seeing people and stuff and yeah. you know sadiq's gone like it's they're in a pretty shitty situation um and a lot of the group wasn't obviously there yeah you know? You know, because it, of because of Gamma's information and everybody really going out, you know, to to look for them. So it was like we didn't have many. I mean, Michonne's not there. Rick obviously isn't there. You know, so it's um, you know, a lot of the 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 survivors, the the Alexandrians that were killed by Beta were people that like you don't even like. Did I ever see that dude on screen one time? Yeah, right. You know, it's like a lot of these fill in people that we never really seen. So it was a small group of. Uh, a lot of like the great fighters until the end when when um, the the group finds Gamma and and uh, Beta in in the street and they yeah. shoot at him and he escapes. But well, yeah. All right, I, so let, before we I mean, get let's to there, talk, yeah, let's yeah, good. You know. the, the whole the whole you know Michael Myers you know Halloween Friday Thirteenth whatever you want to call it that whole part yeah. very very cool. Uh, yeah, I mean at first I was like okay how the what what. What? How did he well, get in? Well, I was in? confused. Yeah, I was confused about you know, how I just that whole assumed, grave thing I assume they came be, about. I assume because they're working with tunnels and this and that. and Yeah, but at first it was... And I could be wrong. And if you guys um, know uh, the correct answer, um, let me know in the, in the comment section below. But on Talking Dead, I'm pretty sure Chris Hardwick said that that was Dante's grave. But I'm like, no, it can't be. Because there was a cross there, they're not going to bury Dante. Yeah, they're not going to bury Dante cross. in a in a so in a grave. that's the no, little just, this little I yeah. think it was like comicbook.com or something that I that I sent you that little link to um, about that whole situation because I, I guess I wasn't the only one that was a little confused by it and how that was just so perfect. You can't and, just I mean a cool shot, but you can't just have yeah. them pop up in the middle of the town. That like, what are you yeah. talking about? Like, it was like, like that, what was holding that dirt there and everything. But anyway, the the, the information that that was given was right. that that um, there was an episode. I guess after Sadiq was taking care of all these people that were sick when Dante was originally poisoning the water. Remember, right. and he kills. there was an older woman. There was an older woman that Sadiq right. was kind of chummy with, and that's the one whose grave that was. And Dante 
said to Sadiq somewhere. I don't remember if it was on screen or it could have been, you know, a scene that we never that was never shot for the show. But he he said himself, "I'll be the one that that digs this grave." And obviously, by him doing that, he was able to connect whatever tunnels were being under, you know dug under Alexandria to this particular grave. So that's how, because at first I'm like, how the hell this doesn't make sense? How did he do this? Right. What are you doing? Right. So yeah. that, you know, that being all said, you know, like again, very, very, very eighties thriller, especially the cocky yeah. asshole telling someone else some cocky, dumb shit. Yeah. And then him, and then him coming in, Blowing and out the light light out, yeah. you know, yeah. and then, and yeah, then running cool. through the house. Um, him getting shot. Like it was, it was very 80 slasher yeah. film. Uh, yeah. Judith and RJ getting away. Cause then I was like, I was sitting there going like, where the hell's RJ? Like what is happening? Yeah. Like, you know, and then, yeah. you know, and then gamma showing up. It's very, oh, all, all still very eighties. Uh, I off camera. I mentioned to you, like, I was like the fact that Rosita just shows up in the room behind him. I was like, okay. And then I was, and then she tries to take him out alone. And, you know, you said, you had said, well, you know, don't forget that, you know, this is years of them fighting people. And she, you know, she's. And she also knows that the kids are in that. She's not going to. Well, they know, were gone by that. then. They ran down already. This is after they shot. No, but that's the house and that the Gamma. kids were in. Right, right, right. You know? Anyway, so, my, I mean, my point is it was a little, it pissed me off a little bit that she thought that she was yeah. going to take him out. The man is literally three times the size. Like, well, the other chick thought she was going to take him out too for a second. Uh, I know. She, well, the blonde well, yeah. who rests in Gamma, peace yeah. gets. Oh no, the uh, other one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the one that kind of saved Gamma from him initially right. in the cell. So, oh yeah, that's what's her name. She was a she was a, a savior. She was like I think one of the last saviors. Laura. Yeah. Laura. What's her name? I, forget. Mm, I don't oh. remember. But he he beta kind of like fucking swung her up against the bars. Dude, again, fucking... that's good. That's totally. That's yeah. totally Jason Voorhees. That's Friday Thirteenth, right yeah. there. So yeah. I, I I did enjoy all that stuff. Um, him getting shot, you know, and he gets up, and it's just like, I'm like, dude, I'm like, well, even get... that, that's so like, right, yeah. So I, yeah. I was like, don't forget, like, this is the dude is, that is, that yeah. Daryl knocked down an elevator shaft, and he just like, yeah. and he got up and walked away. So yeah. this dude is like, yeah, he's very eighty slasher character, which is pretty cool. If he started peering like around the bush, like in Halloween. <laughs> And then all of a sudden they look at he's gone. He's gone. sprinting down thing. I thought it was cool when he pops out of the grave after that cool hand shot. He pops up and he just takes the knives out. Like it was like it no, was there was very... a lot of great cinematography going on in this episode. You know, for sure. Again, you know this the show, the show does a ama- it's it's props and it's makeup and it's cinematography are fantastic. It's it's the situations that I that I have to learn to be like, all right, just let it go. Like I I, I I've become hyper hypercritical that even something cool as this slasher moments and stuff. Yeah, to like I'm, pick something I'm, out. I'm, right? I'm like, I gotta like be an yeah. asshole about it. Yeah. And, you know, and I apologize to, you know, you know, everyone and including myself even to be like, just, you know, I, you know, I, I don't listen. I'm not as excited or into this show as I used to be, you know, and there's a number of different reasons, characters, losing characters aside. It's, you know, it, you know, but the point is, I think is, we, I think we all understand that. I'm sure that there's probably a little bit of that in, in a lot of the viewers and the diehard a lot fans. Of, you know, here's the problem, Mike. The here's the problem. Yeah. And it's gonna, and it's gonna, and it's gonna be when, when the world beyond starts, it's two seasons. Yeah. Okay. Two and done. Yeah. They are counting on the fact that, you know, it's, they have a very limited story. They're going to start it and they're going to finish it and it's going to be done. And, yeah. I think it's going to do fairly well. I think it's going to do fairly well. Right now, Mikey, we're going into 40 consecutive Sundays. For the rest of this year, we're going into 40 consecutive Sundays. There's going to be a, a, a Walking Dead show on every Sunday That's for the uh, rest oh, of the year. Fear too, right? Well, you have the end of this. Yeah. And then the week after this ends, season 10 ends, you have yeah. World Beyond. Mm. When World Beyond ends in the summer... You're going to have, um, I think there's 10 episodes, I think they said. Then you're going to have Fear, and Fear's going to go until September, October, in which yeah. case you're going to have season 11 of The Walking Dead. Yeah. And so yeah. so you're going to have a, a Walking Dead zombie show for the remainder of this year. Is that a lot? Is it too much? I don't know. Um, I've, I'm, we don't do Fear. I'm, I'm out on Fear. I just, I can't. 
I don't know why. I just, you know, maybe, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll get in it into the summer. Maybe I'll try it again. Uh, the World Beyond, I'm excited uh, for, you know, uh, again, grain of salt. But, you know, I'm excited to see what they do as a generation of children, of kids who grew up yeah. in, you know. Um, in well, this. the one actor, the main actor, um, it's Nico... Nico, Nico yeah, yeah. Tortor, Tortorella, something like that. I forgot his name. Yeah. Uh, he was on Talking Dead. Okay. So he he does say that we're going to learn a lot of. Um, he said there's going to be a lot of helicopters. All those old. We're going to finally um, get some information about where those helicopters came from, who's flying them, where they're going. He says that the universe is going to be. Uh, a lot more expanded as far as possibly, you know, the locales and how and how um, maybe on daily routines, the helicopters are traveling such and such miles. So we're getting a lot more. There's a there's a larger expanse. And they talk about how they were always protected, like you just said. Now, this guy, he, I mean, he's probably in his in his early 20s or so, maybe early to mid 20s. So I'm, I'm still assuming that he may have had a little bit of the old world because it's only been about 10 years so well, they, they're going to be right about where uh all the other shows are so he might have been four or five or something like that however they're going to play his age they can always you know bring yeah. it down a little bit but he he might be like the older one the leader of the show so it it does um it's it's kind of interesting that he says that a lot of information about the helicopters and all and the, these particular group you uh, were going to get and yeah. see yeah. You know, so uh, that's I'm, interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm, inter I'm I'm absolutely interested in that. I'm looking forward to it. Um, yeah. And uh look, I that that's it. This this was a this was a, you know, pretty decent episode. Um again, I'm tr I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to see it for for what it is. I just, you know, I guess I just miss the characters, man. You know, I just I just I just miss I miss all those characters. But Look, it is. I, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get to my original point. My original point is I think a lot of us are just end this already. End this. It's so drawn out. We've had nine conversations with Daryl and Carol. We've had the same conversations with Beta and Alpha. Nothing, no new, nothing new is being tread here. And that's the problem. That's what the problem with the show has been for the past few seasons. Well, maybe even more than that. And they did the same thing with Negan. You're drawing it out. Let it yeah. end. I think that I think that Negan was drawn out a lot more, and I think they recognize that the writers and production. I mean, we direction. said this was going a little faster here, you know. Yeah. But it's but it you know what, Mikey, it, it seems, needs to be you know, done. Now we're we're now in. It just it well, it's needs to end. It needs it's to be end over this season. Yeah, it I needs mean, this to be over. Be... Yeah, just just be done. Just be done with it. Just yeah. just be done because yeah. we've got to move on. You know, if you're expanding, you're off the book. You're you know, just be done with this. Let's just listen. You know. I mean, if, if, if since now, since the comic book is now over, I mean, there is an end point. We know about the, the Commonwealth and all this kind of stuff. And it seems like they may be being introduced, um, towards the end of the season with, you know, maybe Maggie coming back with them and saving the day. I, I can kind of see happening. So, I mean, let's see how, how long, even if the, the whole Commonwealth thing is that next, that next story arc, um, how really? How long can they draw it off? I I can really see them ending The Walking Dead in a couple seasons, two or three seasons. Well, you so, know what? And then they, you have the they, movies. You they're know? gonna okay. So what? Yeah, I think what's gonna happen, prediction time is. If Fear's got a better a, a better grip, you know, so that you know they, they're okay. They, you know, they're liking that. If World Beyond does good, you got two years out of that, two seasons worth out of that. If yeah. if you know, who knows, if, but, you know, in second season of World Beyond, we get a new one. Like, I feel like if you're going to be doing that, don't be afraid to end this series, um, the original Walking Dead. Don't be afraid to end it because you can always have, bring others back in, for, you know, bring these people back in or have these, you know, Hilltop and Alexandria and, and, and not the kingdom anymore, but Oceanside, have them all go into... You know, let's see them in the future. Like you don't have to end these characters, but just this, this, the the original Walking Dead needs to be over. Let them get up to let them finish out the comic book, I guess, whatever. But let it be done. You know, let it be done. Yeah, I mean, and, that's that's and just you know, I you know, for their sake, for AMC, I you know, I, I'm hoping that this two season event thing works for them, 
and people dig it and they can bring more stories and just it's been 10 years let's move it forward let's just move yeah. it forward and yeah. and and get it going you know i don't want any listen i don't want any actors being out of jobs but you know you can't just give you can't just have you got to end stuff sometimes it's just it's the way it is you know you can't have the same shit it gets it's really getting boring to the point then you need to just end it so anyway th that's my prediction don't be afraid <laughs> or or whatever don't be afraid to yeah. end the walking dead end the damn show you have these other ones coming out you know see how they're doing you know yeah and you know and, and it'll and be tough it'd be tough just to end before the other shows i think i mean it's still it's where it all started i mean you would yeah hate but to dude get 10 years that, is it's fine dude it's what's fine. the difference it's I mean, fine dude half the you know there's only a quarter of the people left from the original anyway you know not that the new characters aren't good but if people are watching because of five you know four not even dude, there's like three characters that are left you know what i mean then what's the what do you, you know what i mean then then what's the point because they all want to move on as well actors want to move on they want to do other stuff too george is I hot just, yo. i would just i would george just really is hot. be no that's true i would just really be um if, if they didn't end it the way that i felt i mean listen regardless of how you feel the last few seasons whatever it is you want to make sure that the show ends the right way i don't want them to end it on some kind of I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to predict how I think the show is going to end. Yeah. But I would just, if you are eventually going to do this within the next few seasons or so, just do it the right way. Uh, it's it's going to be tough because they just keep adding more. And more. It's it, AMC knows how much, um, they're like cash cows when it comes to this. So that's why they keep adding more and more shows. They don't want to give up on the dream themselves. Well, that's, and, and they that's don't want my to give point. up on this universe. That's my point. If you so have the know. other ones, then, then... I don't know if they would end it with... with Let this go. Well, they have yeah. to see... Well, again, It they have to see. Yeah. They have to see we'll how see. their we'll two see. season events work out, and if people are digging it, and then they add more, yeah. and then they'd be like, all right, I think The Walking Dead's run its course. We can end it. We have these other two or three or four, you know, plus the movies, this and that. So, yeah. So The thing is, dude, the thing is that they're still, they're, they're still getting viewers. You know, it's not like they're having really lousy ratings to where I know it's not like it's not like fucking Badlands where they're just gonna yeah. fucking can Badlands because yeah, you know. So it's tough because if you know people are watching, why am I, are you just gonna end the show? You know what I mean? Because uh, how how but some I feel like people are just you know I talk to people at work and stuff and they're just like oh I'm just watching it because I always watched it but, but you know because. You know, but then I know, but then I, but then I know people that have been like, I'm done, I'm out, mm -hmm. I can't, I can't do it anymore. Yeah. I'm, I was out in seven, I was out in eight, I was out in nine. Like, yeah. it's either, either you're do, you're here because you, you're, you, you were here from the beginning, or you're out because you're like, I'm, I don't want to deal with it anymore. So, anyway, look, enough talk. Let's end this. Let's end the episode. Uh, we've yes. we're running a little bit longer than whatever, but yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you have any more to say? No. Uh, everybody, let us know how you feel in the comment section below. We love to hear what you guys are saying, uh, all your theories. They let Beta run away, and that pissed me off. I, I mean, uh, listen, they, they were bucking some shots at him, and he did his but quick they didn't little chase him. He was, all he did was, You could have chased him. He's, the man's running. There's six of you, seven of you. Yeah, you could have chased true. him down and shot him. Come on. Anyway, whatever, yeah. man. Hey, there would be no show if that was the case. Whatever. If Daryl killed Alpha at that moment, if Lydia killed Alpha at that moment, they would, it would just kill it. I Obviously, know, it has to, we, have to, we have to build it up. So anyway, let us know what you guys are thinking. We're on Third Person Pod and all the social media outlets, so check us out there. We usually post some cool stuff on there when the show is uh, either just end or before, you know, early Sunday. So uh, let us know what you guys are all thinking about The Walking Dead. If you agree with some of the things that we are saying, if you disagree, we like to hear it. So write it down below. That's right. And Westworld starting soon. So watch out for that. Yeah. We love Westworld. Yes, uh, West thanks West. for watching. Thanks for listening. We appreciate you bearing with us and me complaining about this damn show. Uh, <laughs> we, we love you guys. Thanks for all the support and everything. And we'll see you for the next episode for The Walking Dead.